Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Power Wash Simulator. Today's beverages. A very nice lemon tea, very tasty indeed. So welcome back to the game in the previous episode. We completed in one sitting the clean the recreational vehicle again, but um, yeah, it wasn't that RV. It was instead the, I was going to say alien spaceship, but it's not true, it's time traveling spaceship. And now we have clean the lost city palace. So from Sonia here, Harper and I hitched a ride on a fishing boat, <laughs> which we obviously cleaned, um, to search where the hand in the sand was pointing at. I know it sounds crazy, but I think we found the lost city of Atlantis. Only it's in the Pacific. No wonder it was lost. Uh, it should have been the lost city of the Pacif pacifists? Pacific pacifics? Pacifists? <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Uh, regardless, it was heavily... Uh, very recently uh, resurfaced, judging by the claims, it must have been over 8,000 years old. Anyway, this place definitely looks related to those statues in the desert, but we need you to head over and give it a clean. There's a lot beneath the dirt that will help us make sense of it. Harper suggested getting in touch with Cal, see if Flo can fly you over. Hope it makes more sense you do than it does to me. Anyway, let's just jump in and see what we have. It is a 2,000, I think 500 generic units of currency job, which means it's going to be big. It's also vertical with lots of angles and if this is anything like the temple I'm not gonna like it so straight away we have that fishing boat there that is the pelican we have also the <laughs> that's brilliant oh, I like that so that's the fire rescue plane that we cleaned with our van just yeah clamped underneath it we have this thing here also some uh, some sea life yeah so this is the temple and it's going to be a nightmare to clean i can already tell uh we've got the volcano over there hmm it's it's a bit um on the plainy we can hear the roar of the waves as well yeah this is a tall 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 thing we also have the scaffolding so yeah, can we just run up the side? I think we can. Yeah, I thought we might be able to. So this is the temple, and no doubt it's going to stop that. Hmm. So let's get on cleaning. This has recently been underwater. I mean, how has this recently been underwater? Has the sea level dropped by 30 feet? More, maybe. Wow. Anyway, over to our 25 degree nozzle long extension. Let's see what we can clean. So Harper Shaw, new number. Are you, uh, are you drooling? Too wishy? It's possible for anywhere to smell more delicious than this place. Oh, the guy really likes the uh, the seafood, doesn't he? Yeah. Anywhere. Uh, it's like walking to a huge bowl of shrimp cocktail where they got the Mary Rose sauce just right. Dash of Tabasco and a squeeze of lemon. So I'm just going to clean this statue here. Also, the number of cats on the marina was unbelievable. How we got bought out without <laughs> most of feline stowaways, I have no idea. Yeah, I'm also... I don't know if we're going to have gnomes around. So this is obviously right at the top of the place. I don't know in what order we're going to tackle this, but it's certainly going to be a, um, a more than one episode job. Perfectly acceptable. Um, and already, I'm really making a mess of this. I mean, it's already more of a mess with all of the dirt on it, so we can't really make more of a mess, but I'm saying I'm making a bit of a mess of the job, not particularly cleaning it that well. And obviously, we don't really want to avoid falling off this thing. That could be said for most high-up things. So just going to clean and see how we get. I haven't actually taken a look inside. So I might, t I might actually just, yeah, I think what we'll do, we should probably finish the tour. Just so eager to get cleaning that I sort of skipped that entire part. So what I'll do, I'm just going to creep to the end here. That should be about right, yeah, that's fine. And, um, I'm going to clean, I'm just going to clean this, and then we'll go and have another, like, finish the tour. A look around first before, before we do that, before we do the rest of the cleaning. There's that pedestal, all done, and including that as well. So, we're going to go down to the bottom. Um, that looks like, oh yeah, that's that, that, that would hurt. So, we have a entrance shell feature. 
we have... Ah. It's a gnome. But this time it's... It's sort of dressed up. Hmm. Yeah. So are the gnomes the guardians of these... Of this place? There's the statue. Oh my word, how are we supposed to clean in here? There's no stairs up. So is there a way in? Yes, there is. Oh, so we could possibly clean from up here. This is the parapet. How would you normally get up here then? You'd think there'd be a set of stairs. Hmm. Okay then. I guess we'll have to continue. So we'll clean from the top down. I'm gonna go with 15 degree nozzle. And lots of angles here. Um, oh, these are all separate pieces as well. Right. Let's just get this bit out of the way, because this is the one that's not, I think, going to be... This is going to be l the least enjoyable bit, perhaps, being up here. I feel like this is the last... The last level of the game. Perhaps not. But it feels like a big end stage. Very much reminding me of the ancient temple that we've seen previously. Which is... Mm, cards on the table. One of my least favourite jobs in the game. So I'm hoping that this doesn't replicate that scenario. <laughs> but we shall see. I'm guessing we can use the... scaffolding to our advantage. Most likely, we'll be using the triple nozzle to clean where we can. Doesn't seem like here is something we need to use on, really. I do think we'll benefit from... Uh, using some cleaner, especially on that statue. Because even with the long extension and the 15 degree nozzle, it's still quite a tough clean. I mean, this is something that you surely you cannot do this with anything other than the professional duty. You just not want to attempt it. But we'll see. Here. Clean that. Looks like the colours are going to be very vibrant. You've got a turquoise, nice turquoise bit there. Or teal, some people say. I always remember that from Vice City, Mr. Teal. She wore that. That uh, Hawaiian shirt. Also, there's a character in the in a show called Hyperdrive, which is a BBC sci-fi comedy, and one of the characters called Teal, also named because of GDA. And I think about six people on the planet watch that show. But I digress. 1% cleaned. We're getting there. <laughs> it will take a while, this one. It will take a while. Lots of angles, lots of different facets to clean. Because everything's all bunched in as well, it's a bit of a nightmare, really. Oh, yeah, there's that end bit. Just jump up here. And there we go. 
Guess we'll get in that corner. Under here, and on the side. Guessing that the similar thing is just on this corner. Yep. Those bits, and those bits. Curious to see if there's an actual end narrative to what the deal is. The sci-fi, sorry, the yeah, the the sci-fi space travely aliens, otherwise known as humans with the DeLorean shaped. <laughs> no, we've got a time machine. I wonder if those guys come back. They said they would. If everything went well, but you know. I have no idea if we could trust them. So, what if I go all the way down the bottom here? Long extension's fine. A 40 degree nozzle. Totally unfit for purpose. This is the green nozzle. Again, just not fit for purpose. Oh, it's split into like that. Right, I will actually go back to that nozzle then. So it is stepped. So we're going to cut into this. Like so. Because they are two separate bits. And that gives us sections to work on. I genuinely real life flinched there when I came to this end and I saw the uh, the end. <laughs> uh. Normally I'm okay with that sort of thing. In games, obviously. Coming to the end of a thing like this in real life would be uh, hmm, 16 panic attacks and then just a full blown heart attack, probably. And there we go. There's that one clean to there. Let's continue on this way. Lots of flat surfaces here. That'll change when we get to the inside of it. It'll be interesting to see what the time lapse is going to be. Yeah, very interesting to see what the time lapse is going to be. Because of the angle that we're on here, when you press forward, you either slip to the left or slip to the right, and then you start going either like that or like that. Weird pattern on it there. Hmm. I was about to say I've not seen any paw prints, but I think there is some paw prints around. Wouldn't surprise me. So we're just going to spray along here. Okay, so we're just breaking it up into manageable sections. Which is something probably advisable in life as well. Big job, gonna take ages, just one step at a time. One step at a time. One foot in front of the other, etc. The old sayings come good. You start the work, and you solve one problem, and another one, you get the job done. Right, there's that all cleaned. Uh, yeah, so... What's the best way of cleaning this? Let's try the long extension with the... Really good nozzle. She's already leaving bits. But that might be to do with me. Just hoping it's going to be generous on the uh, on what's required. Yeah, that was okay. That felt not too bad at all. That not too bad at all. Extra long extension it is. Getting closer towards it it is. All right. The amount of cleaning this produces at this angle is 
ludicrous. It's good. It's not a complaint. Just an observation. <laughs> uh, that was so good. So we're probably best having this angle because it's so powerful it can spray like that. Um, you better have a shorter extension to get the better coverage so it doesn't get this patchy like that just work our way down and across let's like, say so you don't even need to be too cautious with it oh that's much better isn't it yep That motion works. And this is just the... I say just, this is the Prime Vista Pro. Biggest pressure washer you can get. Using the long extension with the triple zero degree nozzle at the end. And job done. Okay. Um... Let's see where this breaks up then. I think it's there. Yep, I think so. So we're going to do a similar thing. We just switch over to our... Well, 15 degree would be fine. I'm just going to cut in. Cut down. And section this thing off. That's where it section's off there. Cut across here. And along here, I'm gonna switch over to the 50, uh, the, the green nozzle, because we're directly next to it, so it's just better for us to do this. And there we go. Not necessarily concerned too much about getting every little bit here. It's more about getting that uh, that line in the sand. As it were. Oh, it's a nightmare coming down, up and down on these ones. Hmm. Oh, so, oh, interesting. I thought that bit, same as this, it's not. It's part of that one. Hmm, okay. Right, let's go down. In terms of how long it's going to take, I have no idea. Obviously, we're just on two straight-up flat surfaces here. Things will get more intricate. So we need to account for that. I also am aware that we can only use some of this stuff outside, most likely. At the scaffolding, we won't be able to bring inside, I don't think. So we'll have to account for that. All I'm doing here is, as I said, cutting around, doing the outside. I anticipate this being a four episode job, to be honest. Three or four episodes. Could stretch to five if it's um, particularly challenging. Certainly makes it the longest running series on the channel. I wouldn't say concurrent because, well, it isn't. <laughs> can't say it's concurrent because it isn't. We've stopped the series and started many times, but we've always continued on um, to finish more. Certainly not an overly popular series. But I keep doing it because it's chill for me t to do. I enjoy playing it and people fall asleep while listening to it. So, that's cool. As long as we all get something out of it, that's cool. And... Just to the end here. And then that corner. This is different from the other ones because of its uh, relation to the front of the building. Just going to do that there. Come down. Get this. Lovely gold and teal colouring. And there we 
got got some white stone here marble perhaps it's definitely stone it says so on the top left I imagine there's only stone and metal in this entire building if there's any plastic <laughs> I'd be very surprised so up here and then we'll come down cut around this can't really see where the edge was there it is. Okay. I was about to say I'm going to go onto the scaffolding and go from there, but while we're here, I might as well just spray this side of it, right? It's cleaning up nicely, so. May as well start. As we mean to go on. I think, however, for this section, we will choose this nozzle. So, uh, it was better to work this way, well, yeah. I find that just more comfortable on the wrist. So, let's go. Obviously because it's all the outside surfaces and no particular angles involved, there's no overspray. I reckon I'm going from this angle though and get a better better coverage. Yep. Yes we can. More of a, a glancing angle. But that is still taking it. Absolutely not a problem for this cleaner let's just get to the end of this one now it'll say that we've got quite a bit to do left even though we've got the main surface but we haven't done the side we've done one side just haven't done down here which will not take long we go. Right, for this one, maybe sit at this angle. Now we need to be at a more well glancing angle with a shorter extension. What if I just. Ah! Ah! Now that should be better. Because it's, yeah, that's a glancing angle. Brilliant, that works. Let's run with that. I don't know if that's getting all the way down to where we need to, to get. But I can always do the bottom bits later on. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Let's see how we've done. Oh, there's still a couple of bits to do. It's alright though, it doesn't take long just to come back and give it a quick blast there. I'm just making sure that we get up to where we cut in, which includes that blue marker, that blue line. To there, yep. And I think back to <clears throat> where we're doing it here. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. So, a couple of little pieces that I've missed, but nothing that we can't come back to. And quite frankly, because of the size of this, it's quite it's gonna be quite forgiving. I would hope. And to think at first, I didn't think it was going to be a use for this pressure washer. And I do still think it's got its difficulties. 
it's it's too precise and not precise enough at the same time but if you get the angles right then it just it's just simply the best <laughs> I mean your mileage may vary I'm not going to tell the other nozzles that I have a favourite that would be not the done thing to do would it don't get jealous um, so yeah we've got all of all this pyramid wall here even though it's not looking very wally to me because that's class as archway with this pyramid wall missed here and there we go one wall done two walls done should I say right let's tackle this one same again from the top pro nozzle long extension do I get all the way down to there no and I don't think switching out to the I don't think switching out to the uh, long extension or the extra long is probably worth it. Bit of a messy angle this. Because it curves round as you as you work on it. Obviously it just doesn't get in that corner. Should be alright though. There's that. To a nine percent. At this stage, though, there's nothing we can spend our money on. One thousand three hundred seventy-seven point three six generic units of currency. Um, I guess we could actually. There are skins we could purchase, but I don't think there's anything we want to purchase at all. Skins wise. So, just down to get the rest of this. I think I'm going to revise my estimation. Probably more than four or five episodes. I mean, it still could be. But I've only just went past 10% on this. And it's well. Yeah, it's a big job, isn't it? Made infinitely years by this thing, I must confess. But still something that's gonna take some time. And there's that clean as well. Right, just one more bit around here. Uh what I'll do as a test. I will get it a bit closer, like that, and roughly in the middle. Yep, that's fine. I'm going to get to the top, and can we clean the whole thing from here? Let's see. Just missing sections at the top there. Just have to be be careful about that and naturally there's loads of sections will be missing here but we'll get the thick off and we'll go in for a, a closer look so this is all pyramid wall like that Changing to side to side. 
that happened there because I just clipped that ball. And getting close to the bottom now. I think there's only one course of stone now to the bottom there. That's very satisfying. I think while we're on as well, we know that we're going to have to clean in here. So we'll get that cleaned as well. It's quite amazing how much you can clean with this thing. It is, uh, it just seems like a cheat mode almost, but it costs us money. At the time recording, obviously the game is now out from early access. Um, I think I saw a post the other day, like a Steam update and news thing, saying that they're not done with the game. Um, Plan on adding in more things, I believe. Whether or not that's going to be free or sort of paid for DLC, I have no idea. Let's see how it goes. So there's that done, but if we go to here, obviously we'll see bits that we haven't got done. This by the way that I'm cleaning is not actually in, it's not necessarily needed. Clean in there, clean in there, that side. I guess it'll just be on this side and up top where we haven't had direct access to it because of the angles that we were cleaning it at. Which is exactly what we expected. Okay, so I think we'll leave it there. That's been a bit of Power Wash Simulator. The Temple. Is it Temple? Uh, clean the Lost City Palace. It's a palace. We've done... The scrolls. Pedestals. Edges. Some pyramid walls. 13%. Probably a big job. Next episode, if we get the 30%, I'll be quite happy. We'll probably look at the walls around the outside, followed by these figureheads and the uh, archways and that main front bit. Obviously there's the rear wall as well. Yeah, we will see, as always, how we get on. It's been a chill session on Power Wash Simulator. Let's, uh, we probably should, we should really return this guy to the sea, really, shouldn't we? Um, can we, can we just put him there? Come on. It's there and then we'll... Oh, they're generally hitting the sandbox. I think they're generally hitting the side as well. Ah, well. Anyway, we're leaving it there for now. That's been a bit of Power Wash Simulator. Next episode... We'll look at continuing. <laughs> That's night and day, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'll do these sides. We'll do that, uh, that bit there. Maybe even the entrance and the back bit. Aye. Big job. So far, not too bad at all. Either way, hope you have enjoyed it. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.